Well, this week we're at the Grantham Auction Rooms and I've got John with me. Uh, we're talking about military items, but not necessarily the ones we would automatically think of. Indeed. I mean, most people, when you think about military, you're thinking about guns, you're thinking about swords, anything to do with, um, you know, fighting. But it's much more than that, and collectors um, are interested in things across the spectrum of the military world. This looks very nice. What is it? Uh, this is a German military helper called a Pickelhaube. Uh, I think it dates to about the end of the 19th century, going up to the First World War. Um, it would have been worn generally by the officer class. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a German helmet, basically, of a very distinct form. Uh, we've got several items on the table to have a look at, including this. Now, what is that? Is, it, is that something, is it a shell case? It's a shell case, absolutely. Ah. It's what we call trench art, and it's very particular to the First World War. And this is a lovely example um, because it's got written down the bottom Verdun, where there was a very famous battle in the First World War. Uh, and it's beautifully decorated with the Cross of Lorraine, um, which is an area of northern France. Um, so, yeah, fantastic piece, very collectible. And the medals that we're looking at here, uh, quite significant, are they? Not significant, just just interesting, right? Um, and, and an absolute contrast. I've got two First World War medals here: um, uh, the Great War Medal and uh, a, a Merchant uh, Navy Medal. Um, First World War medals are very collectible, and of course they're becoming fewer and further between now um, because that generation has very much died out and they've been sold or given to museums, so very popular. And the good thing about World War I medals is that they are always marked to the recipient. Ah. Um, so if you're doing military research, they're a great thing to have and to, to expand your knowledge of where and when and what the soldier, sailor, whatever, was doing. And does it make a difference if they're attached to the colours as well? I mean, it's always good to have the metal ribbon. They would have had yes. them, but you can get replacement ribbons without any problem. So they're not essential. Now, something else has caught my eye. I'm not quite sure what it is. Um, this item here, what is it? It's, it's an odd looking thing, isn't it? It looks as like if it should be sort of cleaning toilets or something. Yeah. But actually, it's, um, it's not a plumbing thing. It's what we call a trench periscope. Um, again, oh. it's First World War period, uh, fantastically marked on it. So it's got the military markings, it's got the maker's name. Again, very desirable to collectors. Basically, you stick it up like that and you can see what the Huns are doing over the, over the trench. Fascinating. If you'd like to know more, go to the website www.goldingyoung.com.